For more videos visit for the sake of education.com. All right guys, now let's do this problem where they want you to replace the loading system by an equivalent resultant force and coupled moment acting at O. So let's find the points involved. You got O, B is definitely involved. So O sits at the origin, zero I plus zero J plus zero and decay. B sits at minus 1.5 in the i plus 2 in the j plus 1 in the k and i'm going to call this point right here point c c is definitely important and c sits at 0 in the i plus 2 in the j plus 1 in the k so some of the forces the resultant force f of r is equal to F1 plus F2. They are already given in Cartesian vector form. So all you gotta do is add this 450 to this 200 and you get to go. So the resultant force comes out to be minus 300 in the I plus 150 in the J minus 250 in the K. You just added F2 to F1, the case with the case, and that's it. So this is the resultant force. Now what we gotta find is the sum of the moments. Now there are two moments being created because there's two forces. So the moment that F2 creates is given by the cross product between vector OC cross F2. So the moment that F2 creates about O is equal to OC cross, cross F2. And the other moment created by the other force is the moment created by F1 about O is given by OP cross F1. So these are the two moments that we need to find. Now O is at the origin, so OC is equal to C and OB is equal to B. So all we gotta do is build our matrices. This is I, this is J, this is K. On the first row, on the second row, we got OC, which is equal to C, which is 0, 2, 1. And here we got F2, which is 0, 0, minus 450. So you rewrite first, second column, 0, 2, 0, 0. Positive diagonals, the first one i times 2 times negative 450 minus 100 i second one zero third one zero negative diagonals first one zero second one zero third one zero so the answer is negative 900 i for the first moment the second moment we build a matrix i and the j and the k ob goes here but o is the origin so ob is equal to b minus 1.5 to 1 and F1 is minus 300, 150, and 200. And that comes out to be, I'm sorry, you rewrite your first and second column, IJ, minus 1.5 and 2, minus 300, and 150. We got no zero, so this is going to be a bit of a pain. We do your positive diagonals. I times 2 times 200 is equal to 400 in the I. J times 1 times negative 300 is minus 300 in the J. K times minus 1.5 times 150 is minus 225 in the K. Negative diagonals. Negative, negative, negative. Negative, negative 300 times 2 times K is positive 600 K. Negative 150 times 1 times i is minus 150i. And the last one is negative 200 times negative 1.5 times j. Comes out to be positive 300 in the j, which they cancel out a little bit. So 250, when you add them up, plus 375 in the k. This is our second moment. So the sum of the moments is equal to this negative 900i, you add it to this 250i plus uh, 375k, 
and you get that the sum of the moments is minus 650 in the i plus 375 in the k. So final answer for the moment and final answer for the resultant force acting on this pipe assembly. Please comment below if you want me to do any problems and I'll be happy to help. Thank you.